Hey there, Facebook. Hope you're doing fantastically. Welcome to today's show. We're talking today how to take your business to the ho- to a whole new level in the new financial year. Welcome to July 1. Fantastic. It's my mother's birthday today as well. So happy birthday, Catherine Harmon, my mother, mum, commonly known as, and you guys can all call her mum as well, all of you that are following me on this page as well. It's the only thing that she'll respond to, right? So uh, welcome to today's show, everybody. Today we're talking the new financial year, how to take things to a whole new level in 2021, uh, 2020 to 2021 as the new plan, new strategy, new thing to take you to a whole new level in 2020 to 2021. So as you guys are tuning in, what I want you guys to do is I want you to share the stream so we can get this message out there. Like and share. Let us know where you're tuning in from. Uh, and what we're going to be talking about today is we're going to be talking about 2020, 2021, how to take you to a whole new level in 2020 and 2021. So you do not want to miss today's episode. We're talking all things, taking you to a new level where, and I'm going to be sharing what we're going to be doing and exactly what you guys can do the exact same, right? So let us know where you're tuning in from and let's talk into strategy and everything as well now. Okay, so first things first is we've just finished a quarter and no doubt your accountant is going to be starting to work on your tax returns for your business and all this type of stuff as well right now. And they're going to give you some final numbers. Okay, so in terms of being able to sort of up level you guys and help take you guys to a whole new level, you've got to understand where you came from first, which is the first main thing. You've got to understand where you've come from, okay? So you've got to understand those numbers. You've got to understand revenue. You've got to understand, you know, how much you spent on marketing, everything you spent in your business over the last 12 months uh, of last financial year first. Um, Once that's done and you understand sort of where you've come, it's now down to a choice of, where you want to go because we're, we're in a whole new financial year, whole new quarter, whole new month is starting right now as well. And you want to really just do a bit of a summary, you know, what went well, what didn't go so well, what improvements can be done. Welcome to the call, Adam. Welcome to the call, Veronica. And welcome to the call, Serena. Hope you're all doing amazingly. So what we're going to be talking today is 2020, 2021. How do we take that whole new financial year to a whole new level? So number one is you really got to understand where you come from, right? So what revenue you've turned over, your expenses, all that type of stuff, you really want to understand that. Your accountant are going to be starting to put all that together. In saying that, you're going to have some rough numbers from the last quarter and the last month anyway, right? So you want to pull those numbers out so we can see what's going on, what went well, what didn't go so well, what can be done to improve it now, okay? The next thing you guys want to be doing is is breaking down what is your goal. So a lot of you already would have had some 10-year goals, like a strategic plan for your business. If you don't, you want to be getting a strategic plan put in place around sort of, you know, where you want to take your business, what the future is going to look like for your your business as well in the next 10 years. Because right now we're in a new decade as well. We're six months into the new decade uh, of 2020 to 2030 we're at now. So no doubt you've got like a 10 year vision as to where you want to take your business over the next 10 years. And now's a really good time to, to check in being that, you know, at the start of the year, you would have put that plan in place. If you haven't put that plan in place, there's no time like, you know, right now or yesterday to be able to do that. So, and now that we're ticking over into that new financial year as well, it's like, you know, how have we tracked so far? the first six months of the year. How have we tracked so far getting towards that goal? Now it's like looking at say the next 12 months, this new financial year, what do we want to do as a business uh, as a first thing? So it's going over the numbers, right? And you know, you know, guys that I talk about this regularly to do with numbers and all this type of stuff. and, And, and people aren't really talking to you guys about this in depth 
when it comes to business in general and understanding numbers and you know uh, where, where what's what's actually going on in your business. Once you understand what's going on, you can fix things. Otherwise, you're going to be oblivious to it, right? And while you're oblivious to it, there's stuff getting flooded out the window, which you know is money and time. So you might as well get the lighter out and just light that light that fucker up because uh, that's what it's doing right now. You're just lighting it up. So really, uh, the first steps is you understand where you've come from. Then what we do is we look at okay, what can be done this new financial year in terms of helping take you guys to a new level. So I want to share with you guys some things. Let's say, for example, your goal is to do three quarters of a million this next financial year, right? Or your goal is to do a million over the next financial year. Or your goal is to do 150,000 over the next financial year, right? So what you want to do is you want to start breaking down that big goal that you want and then start breaking it down into smaller steps. So it's like, Cool. My goal is to do $100,000, right? So my business must be doing $2,000 a week. Okay. That's what my business should be doing. Or it would just be, if we're working it out like per week, it's going to be less than that per week, essentially what you're going to be doing. If you, if you calculate that to monthly, it's $8,333.33 or something like that to be able to hit $100,000 uh, a month. Uh, sorry, in, in a year, okay? Something along those lines, right? So it's like, you got to understand where it is that you're going, right? Oh, it's actually less than that, sorry. It's actually, uh, yeah, no, it's actually that, $8,333,000, $8,333.33, right? So you got to, um, so, so when, when it comes to, so up leveling all of this, it's about, okay, we've got to understand the numbers as to where you come from, what the last quarter, the last month's been like, what the last 12 months has been like. Then secondly, you want to understand what is the, the, the 10 year vision? Where's your business going the next 10 years? And no doubt you've already broken that down to what you will do this financial year as well within your growth plan. Um, if you haven't done that, that's okay. Uh, look at the next 10 years, look at the next 12 months and go, okay, cool. The next 12 months, this is what I'm going to do in terms of revenue. And then you're breaking that down to monthly. Uh, sorry, you're breaking that down to quarterly. You're breaking that down to six monthly, quarterly, monthly, weekly, and then daily over and above that. And then you can just work it down to the hour, what that's going to work out to, right? Just so you understand sort of the nitty gritty as to what you must be doing over the next 12 months. So you guys probably want to be taking some notes while we're going through all of this as well so that you can start breaking down these numbers. So uh, what is the 12-month goal, right? Breaking it down to six monthly, quarterly, uh, monthly, daily, and right down to hourly as well, just so you can understand those numbers. Then from there, you push it to the side and then you go, okay, that's the numbers that I must have. Now, how many uh, leads do I need? How many appointments do I need? And more importantly, how many sales of product must I make to be able to hit that goal? Okay. So for a lot of you, you will already understand what your lifetime value is of your clients, right? So if your lifetime value over 12 months is $5,000, you will understand then that you must make uh, 20 sales over the next 12 months to hit 100 grand. 40 sales over the next 12 months to hit 200 grand, okay? So you'll understand those numbers broken down. Now, now that you understand what it is that you want to do for the next 12 months, then you'll understand, uh, you know, how much money your, your business must be doing every week, what your business must be turning over uh, per quarter, per six month period, you know exactly where you must be. And then uh, you know exactly what you must be doing per day. And then you know exactly what you must be doing per hour, right? So if you only work five days a week, you gotta calculate this on a five day a week basis, right? These numbers, not a seven day basis, break it down onto a quarterly basis. So 
uh, you've got to understand all of that. And then it's like, okay, cool. What is the average spend of per client that works with me at the moment? Uh, and you'll know what that average spend is. And if it's that average spend is $2,000, for example, right? Then you'll understand 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 clients I must get over the next 12 months to be able to hit $100,000. That's if you want to hit $100,000, okay? So you got to understand where you've come from, what you've done in sales, cash sales, the last month, the last quarter, and the last 12 months, so you can marry things up. Then from there, you move into the new financial year and the next 12 months, and you go, okay, I want to hit a certain figure, revenue, break that down six monthly, quarterly, monthly, weekly, and then daily, and then per hour of the day. So if you do eight hours during the day, that's what you got to work it out to be. Okay. So once you understand those numbers, then you want to understand how much have I, how much do on average do my clients spend with me? Okay. So if it is $2,000, you'd write $2,000 down. Then you would work out how many clients do I need to get in order to hit that goal, okay? So in order to hit that goal, hit $100,000, my average spend is $2,000. Uh, 2,000 times 10 is 20 grand, right? And then times that by five, right, is 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 clients that I need over the next 12 months to hit a hundred grand, okay? So now you understand all of these numbers, right? Now you break it down to appointments, right? Which you would judge appointments on a 30% close ratio because that's what you should be as a bare minimum with your clients that you're speaking to. And that's from cold traffic and appointments that come to your business as well because you guys will be doing marketing you guys will be doing like you if you're not doing marketing you should be doing marketing because you, you must you do need it in order to hit certain goals whether it be joint venture marketing organic marketing paid marketing um whether it be uh you know white labeling products services whether it be uh referral systems within your business as well um to to bring you in more referrals right it's all part of marketing by the way so Breaking down, okay, a 30% close ratio, how many appointments must I get? So if you are uh, looking for two deals a week, essentially, then you would need six appointments a week, right? Then from there, if you are like, okay, now my main, so that's, that's that. Now it's like, okay, I know how many, how many sales, I know how many appointments I need, how many now? Uh, co conversations or leads do I need in order to book those appointments? Okay. So if you're wanting six appointments into your calendar, then you need to understand how many leads, right? It's going to, uh, that I need to generate in order to hit that. And if you're looking at say, let's say worst case scenario, if I'm looking at uh, six appointments, right? Let's say it's a one in 10 leads to get an appointment, okay? Then what you'd be looking at then is going, okay, I need 60 appointment, 60 leads, or I speak to 60 people to get 10 appointments, to get six appointments, sorry, okay? Then from that, I know I'll hit my numbers. Then you just want to know, okay, cool, if that's all going to be paid advertising, what is that going to be in terms of an investment per month into my marketing to get the results? And then you've got your full plan set out for the next 12 months in terms of your revenue. Okay, so that's revenue covered. Now it's like, okay, if I'm going to hit $100,000, I'm just using 100 because it's just a, you know, a round number. So if I'm going to get 100K over the next 12 months, right? Now, what support am I going to need to get to 100 grand? 
do I need or do I need more uh, admin staff? Do I need a virtual assistant? Do I need someone to manage my emails? Do I need someone to book my appointments? Do I need someone to call the leads for me? Do I need someone on to be able to close the sales? Do I need someone on to support me with the operational side and delivery for my clients? Right? So you got to look at now that you've got the plan and everything there. You got to look at, you know, what support am I going to need over the next 12 months to be able to get myself to this goal, right? Because they say many hands make of light work and it's so true. So going through what people am I going to need around me to help support me with this is the next step. And then when you understand all of this, then, and you know who you are wanting into your team and who you're going to need and all that type of stuff, then it's just a question of what are the three main projects that you're going to work on over the next 12 months to get you there, right? Or over the next 90 days, sorry. What are the three main projects that you must work on over the next 90 days to help you get to that goal, okay? So... Once you've got, once you understand what those three main projects are, and look, if you're going from zero to a hundred grand, uh, the main projects is lead generation, right? Then you'll have three to five steps underneath lead generation as well. So it might be, you know, I've got to buy a course teaching me how to generate leads. That's number one. Um, and that's uh, then from there, it's, you know, me going through the training and understanding all of that and getting that done. And then it's, uh, you know, me placing my uh, lead generation campaigns and me seeking feedback from someone with that course that I've purchased, right? Whatever that course is. And that could be the first one. The second one is I've got to, you know, tune in my sales skills, right? So for number one is I need some scripts, right? Number two is I need, uh, I, I need some closing training, right? The third one is I need... Um, you know, to bring someone on to help me with the volume of the front end of my calls, okay, which is also another valid point to be able to go through as well. And that's now the second project that I've set for the next 90 days. The third project is I must bring in team, for example, and that could be many different types of team members that you need. This could be a virtual assistant, okay? What is that going to be for? Freeing up my time on emails, freeing up my time on appointment booking and freeing up my time on communication with clients, right? Because I do email communication or whatever that is, right? So freeing yourself up some time from that. So then you as the business owner can focus on the things that you're good at as well, which could be content marketing, like we're doing right now. It could be, a multitude of other things as well. It could be uh, that you focus on your client delivery more so, right? And you got other people that are taking care of the sales for you. It could be that you are focusing on the finances and the numbers and you know the sales side for your business instead that you focus on because that's what you're good at. And when you focus on something more like that, your skills expand, right? And your business expands. One of the best decisions that we made uh, with what we do in our business is us focusing more on what we're really good at, therefore the business expands. For me, I'm good at this stuff and talking on camera. Then I'm really good at communicating with new potential clients. And I'm really good with marketing and so on and that front end stuff, that's what I'm good at. Therefore the business expands. You know, Serena is really, really good at, you know, maintaining relationships. She's really good at networking as well um, and connecting people, right? Hence the reason why we also expand because she focuses on those areas. She's also a really good marketer as well and keeping on track of organizing things. That's what she's really, really good at. And then we bring team members in that we train up in certain areas and they free up our time to be able to work on more of what we're good at. Therefore, the business will expand, right? 
So I'm giving you guys a little, a, a few concepts here now as well to go by. So all of this is designed to be able to go, this is where I'm going the next 12 months, right? And look, if your business is not based in Australia and does not have a new financial year right now from July 1 to June 30, that's also okay. You can still use this exact same methodology to be able to move yourself forward today if you haven't done it. Or it could be a good time to recheck in on all of this as well and go, okay, have I, used, have I done all of this that has been spoken about in today's training? Okay. And essentially then using that to be able to move yourself forward faster. Because once you've got absolute clarity on where you're going and you know where your business is going, the trajectory, you know how many appointments you've got to have, you know how many leads you've got to have in, you know, how, you know what revenue you should be doing every week to hit your goal, um, you know where you're going, you're going to start getting the results that you truly want because you have the clarity on the direction that you're going right now. And part of the reason why businesses don't move forward is because they don't have that clarity. They don't have that strategic plan. They haven't done the strategic thinking for their business to be able to move it forward. And that's why they just remain stuck because they've got no direction, right? And with anything that you want in life, whether it's business, health, relationships, uh, changing habits, whatever it is, all of it starts with this, this planning stage. So planning what it is that you want, getting it on writing so you can see it, putting it somewhere where you can see it every single day, right? So that you can start getting what it is that you want. We set a plan for last month, right? And we went over... Uh, we, we exceeded what we wanted to do and we originally set at the start of the month. This month, we're setting the same thing in place and we're, up, we're, we're going well and truly above what we did last month as well. Because I know now we have the real capacity to be able to do it because we've got the manpower and the woman power and all that type of stuff behind us in order to do that. However, if we didn't put the plans in place, as to what we were wanting to do, then we would never know that we would ever get there or have the capacity to do that or even be able to see it because we haven't got it on paper. So my, my thing is for all of you right now is to go over this whole video again. And you might go, oh man, I don't understand this part. This part isn't for me. Uh, then, you know, that's the exact reason why you should go back over this video again. Welcome, mum. Happy birthday. Everyone's wished you happy birthday in the comments as well. <laughs> Welcome, Ida, to the call too. I hope you are doing amazing. Um, yeah, welcome, mum, to the call. Everyone's wished you a happy birthday a million times here in the comments. Uh, so you're getting extra happy birthdays from Veronica and from Serena as well. Uh, and I'm sure more, many more people will come in. So happy birthday to my mum. She just turned 60. I'm waiting for a comment from her now. But she, I'm not sure whether she's still here or she's gone. I hope she's still here because I, I want to tease a little bit. She isn't really 60. She's 59. I tried to rev her up earlier this morning. Uh, so you guys know, I, I called my mum earlier this morning to wish her a happy birthday. And... Uh, I tried my best to rev her up saying that she's 60 and all this sort of stuff now. However, she's not really 60. I just wanted to just tease her a little bit uh, with relation to that because she is getting older now. Uh, the thing is, though, my mum hasn't got any greys that I know of yet. So, you know, I don't know what's going on there. Maybe we just got good genes. I don't know. <laughs> so welcome happy birthday mum and wish you the best i won't sing on camera today because i've already sung for you earlier so i won't sing here as well because people will unfollow my page she's young at heart 100 uh 
uh, and only do it to tease. I love it very much. So that's everything for today, guys uh, and ladies and gentlemen, which is all, all ladies today, actually. So I'm just going to say ladies, right? Uh, go over this video again. And what I want you to do is I want you guys to understand this process and put this process in place. Because what will happen is you will get abs you'll get so much more clarity around what you want to do in your business that it will enable you to move forward with power as well because that power will give you everything that you need to move forward and when you've got that strategic plan in place which you know large percentages of businesses don't have it puts you ahead of the rest and the new financial year right now is a really good time for you Aussies here that are watching to be able to go through this process and map out what it is that you want to do over the next 12 months. Because once you've got that clarity, then you know we can even go through other things with you guys too around exactly what you must be doing every single month around leads, appointments, sales made, uh, all that type of stuff. You really want to understand all of this to give yourself that clarity on where you're going to go moving forward right so that's it for today if you have any questions at all i want you guys to hit me up in the comments in the dms in the comments wherever you want to do it and that way we can help you guys moving forward and everything as well uh so yeah you got all the happy birthdays here mum from everybody uh hello uh, hello veronique hope you're doing amazing as well writing a post about goal setting and shared too. Fantastic. I'm glad you are doing a lot of things on goal setting now as well, Veronica, because for you, the next 12 months, your business, the way it sits, you can do so much with it. But really what you want to do is you want to make sure that you've got that clarity around where your business has come from using this video today, where it's come from, where you want to take it this next financial year. And, you know, you can take it as high as you want to the next 12 months just comes down to the way you think about it, the plan that you put in place, absolutely anything is achievable for all of you, including yourself, Eda, as well. Um, so that's essentially uh, the message that I wanna hit for you guys today is take action, put the strategic plan in place. And once you've got that strategic plan in place, then you have, I'm uh, just looking at the comments now, uh, once you have that strategic plan in place, then it will enable you to uh, start getting the results that you want, give you the clarity around what you want. That way uh, you can move forward. So, um, okay. So you guys want me to sing. If I get at least one more person say sing, I'll, I'll sing, okay? And I'll, I'll give it to you guys. But I'm going to embarrass you, mum, because I'm going to sing the same one that you sung this morning. So you better, that I sung you this morning. So you better be sure that you want me to sing because I'm going to sing that one. Um, so if I get one more person say sing, then I will sing, right? But I'm going to sing the one that I sung you this morning, right? So you better decide if that's the one that you want me to use because that's what I'm going to use. I don't know. It could be a little embarrassing and all that type of stuff. Um, <laughs> um, so I know we've got someone else here live as well. So if they say sing as well, I will sing. Right? Uh, there's going to be nothing held back and I'm going to sing the exact same as I sung this morning. So, uh, yeah, so guys, uh, go on then. All right, cool. I'll do it. <laughs> Who's on my... Oh, you're on as well now, Serena, are you? Are you? Nobody will hear you because I've got my lapel mic on. I've got my lapel mic on, so nobody will hear you. Um, cool. All right, don't care. So, happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. You look like a monkey and you act like one, two. Hip, hip, hooray. Hip, hip, hooray. Hip, hip, hooray. There you go. I sang, right? So I'm not going to quit my day job now. I'm going to continue on uh, my day doing what I do the best, which is helping you guys move forward and take some action, right? And my mum does look a little bit like a monkey when you look at her as well. So... That is all completely cool. 
<laughs> awesome, guys. So uh, let's wrap this one up for today. Hope you all have an amazing, amazing, amazing Wednesday. Remember, we're halfway through the week. You can get so much more done over the rest of this week as well. And if you enjoy my singing, just let me know in the comments uh, that you enjoy it. And uh, we'll have a little bit of fun on our live streams and so on too. So um, thank you so much for joining, joining in, everybody. Let's take action. Let's make it happen. Let's do this. If you do not fight for your own freedom, absolutely nobody else will. So every single day you must get out there, you must take action, and you must make it happen. And remember to be the warrior and wish a happy birthday to my warrior mother. And we'll speak to you all really, really soon. See you later this week. Cheers.